Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Zoo on the PS5. So we're going to get right into our build today. Um, I want to build a quarantine. I want to build a custom quarantine. Uh, you know, I told you guys in the last video that I wasn't happy with the, uh, the set of buildings that I had over here in this kind of uh, compound area where we have uh, the, the veterinary and the, uh, the quarantine and we have a couple other things. I want to rebuild those. Um, just make it look different make it look better uh this space is hindering my my building because i could build uh a lot over here and you know with the uh the guests they don't like to see these kind of staff buildings so it would make it a little more difficult so what i'm going to do is i'm going to consolidate this into probably just two better looking buildings and move them around a little bit um so also with that being said this is probably going to be the last video that I do on PS5 for this game, <clears throat> at least until they get a patch. Because since the lemur build, uh, my game is pretty hard to play. <laughs> it's very laggy. Um, during this build, during building, I guess you don't notice it. Uh, I haven't noticed it uh, in the build mode, but when I go out of build mode and go into my zoo, uh, the lag is just almost unbearable and uh, the funny thing is it's not just around the lemurs like I can go uh, completely the other side of the map and it's still lagging out so I don't know what that's about um, you know it, it could be the guess as of right now on console uh, there, there's no way to adjust how many guests you can have um, so I'm thinking that may be the lag issue, but I don't know, but it really needs to get fixed. So we built the wall off the grid, uh, but for some reason it didn't match up with the other wall. So I decided to delete all that and rebuild off the grid again and try to get it right. Because I think what happened was, I think I wasn't uh, putting them uh, evenly. They weren't evenly spaced. So this time around, it looks a lot better. So again, the, the idea about this is the quarantine should have... A pen area for the animals to to go in um smaller animals like uh, the exhibit animals and stuff like that like the lemurs they're fine to be inside here there's probably cages or, or something inside the quarantine but bigger animals like our wolves and our warthogs uh or, yeah probably even the tortoises there should be an outside area for them now you can't actually use that in the game so it's not like you'll ever see animals roaming around there but you know it's still just immersive and it looks good so that's why i thought we would do this and the thing is uh, i'm finding like i get better the more i the more i do so with every building i build you know i uh i get a little bit better with it so guys with all that being said i'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of the build and then i will catch back up with you guys when we are all done
product and we just had a lemur die which is pretty sad i can't get them to breed for anything i don't know i don't know why i don't know what the problem is but yeah they are uh, they just do not breed that well so uh as we go in here we can see we have the, uh, the wolf statues here which i thought that was pretty cool we got the lights we got some plants in the planters it just makes it look good and what are you doing lady you don't you don't need to be here <laughs> Uh, another animal has died. Uh, that's a shame. Um, so what I think I might do is I might put like a, a food dish and like a water dish in here just kind of just to give the, uh, the effect, uh, if you will. You know what I mean? So let's, uh, oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Hold on. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where do we want to go? We want to go into here and let's go into food and let's just put in like a, uh, a large food, a large food bowl, like this here, and let's bring it up over here like this. And like I said, this just kind of gives it. You know, we're gonna go into the advanced move mode so we can take a look around here. Oh, we're gonna have more tortoise babies. That is awesome. Wait a minute, let me just get this down. Okay, don't go away. Yeah, let's uh, let's just watch this because. The tortoises in here, I have four tortoises in here. I have two male and two female. Now, the female is the mother to the two males, so I couldn't have them breeding. So what I did was I put contraceptive on the mother, and I left the, uh, the two males to breed, and I got this here, this new tortoise. Uh, what was her name? Chippo. Chippo, yeah. So I got her, and I was hoping this was going to happen, so it does look like that. We are going to get some... Some new baby tortoises here for the exhibit. That's going to be a fantastic thing. Come on, Mama. Let's see. Let's see those babies. Oh, oh! I think it's going to happen. Oh, yep, yep. There we go. Oh, look at that. And we have a brand new baby tortoise. Two. Wait a minute. How many are we going to get? How many are we going to get, guys? Three. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this is great. Oh, beautiful. Well, good job, Chippo. Good job. All right. So who do we have here? What do we have? We have a male. We have Rudo. Hey there, little buddy. Hope you'll be very happy in our zoo. Uh, we have another male. Uba, is that is that a gold? Is he a gold? Ooh, I think he is. Nice. Ooh, let's, and what do we have over here? Akani, another gold. Three males. So we have three male tortoises here. And only one female. And again, she's she's the mama. So let's see here. Who is who is the dad? Chippo and Akiki. I kick you, you dog. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Abbot, Abbot Canile, that's the grandma right there. So that's the grandma. We're just going to let her be. Where is the proud papa? Uh, Apara. No, that's that's not the proud papa. Um, oh, maybe you back here? Akiki, yes, that is the proud papa. 39 years old. Awesome, man. Is this one of his babies? Rudo, yes, it is. Rudo, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so let's check out some of these here. Low welfare. So this here happens a lot with the lemurs. And basically, I think what happens is I think they get stuck on something. <clears throat> or, I don't know, they're just, they just get stressed out. I mean, there's plenty of places for them to hide in here. Uh, and as you can see, once he starts to climb up and get higher, all of his stats start to, to come back up. So, nothing to worry about there, really. And let's see what we have here. Sirey. Sirey is stressed. And again, it's the same kind of thing. And once they get their numbers all up, it'll just clear. And what do we have for the staff alerts? Vet surgery. Oh, yeah, we need a vet surgery. That is true. So, I deleted the vet surgery, so we have to get another one. Now, the game isn't actually lagging too much right now so god i don't know guys i mean let me put it this way 
if we can do it, we will. If the game doesn't lag out too much, um, we definitely will. But uh, if it does, then then we won't. And I'm probably going to build an enclosed uh, area here for the animals as well. Again, like I said, is this necessary? Uh, no, it's it's not necessary. But you know, it's just um, it's just something cool just to you know add to it. Let me make sure this is all right here. Let me just spin that around. There we go. Okay. And yeah, I may put a, uh, a little enclosed shelter in here for them. And I may even select this and make a blueprint and put this in the workshop. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do you guys want this in the workshop? Uh, do you like what you see? It's pretty primitive compared to what other people are building. But again, guys, I'm... I'm new to this and I am just learning. So <clears throat> this building has to go. And you know, now that I think about it, what I probably should do, I probably should expand off this, shouldn't I? I probably should just expand this out and make this all one big complex here and put all those buildings in there as well. Now, another thing I did, um, I put a keeper's, a keeper's hut here right next to the wolf enclosure so they don't have to go far to feed them and stuff like that. Uh, did you fix that, buddy? Yes, all right, you fixed it again. That thing breaks down a lot. I really don't know why. Um, so, another thing I want to show you guys while I'm here, because this is pretty important to to the game as well. This is kind of like, yeah, the managerial side of it. So, we have work zones. So, what I did was I have three work zones now. I have the wolf zone, warthogs and tortoises, and we have lemurs. Um, okay, so let's go into edit the work zone here. So I assigned people no staff room in the work zone. <clears throat> Why is that? Why is that? Wait a minute. What do we have here? Um, let's add these to the work zone. There's no staff room over here? Really? That's That's peculiar. Okay, well, we'll have to work on that. But so what I, what I have is I have all these work zones, <clears throat> and I have employees attached to each zone. So, for example, the wolf zone here. Uh, let's go back here and check out the staff. So vets, we have two vets for the lemurs, two vets for the wolves. We have two vets assigned to the warthogs and tortoises. Keepers, again, I think we have, yeah, we have two assigned to each one. So that should keep... Everything running smoothly. Educators. We only have the one educator, and she educates for the wolves. Um, I need to learn more about the educators, actually. I need to know, is it just, like, sit-down things? I mean, I know they do other things, so we may hire a couple other educators and, and put them around so they can talk to people. Uh, again, mechanics. We have three mechanics on the wolves. Um, we have two on the lemurs, and we have three on the warthogs. Uh, security guards. Not, not that much important, and we have caretakers. So, since I've done that, it seems to run a lot more smoothly. And, uh, you know, moving forward with the builds, whether they're on PlayStation or PC, um, I have to make sure I add in, like, uh, these, these here zookeeper areas right to the habitat. That's what we're going to be doing from now on. Also, I have to say, when I was building the lemur habitat... I didn't even realize that all of our existing wolves had passed away, and I didn't want inbreeding, so I basically took off the, uh, I, I had co contraception on all of them, and we we lost all of our wolves, so we have brand new wolves here, we have Maverick, he's our male, I guess he's kind of the alpha since he's, uh, he's attached, and uh, we have some pups in here, they seem to like to hang out over here quite a bit, oh no, not today. Not today, okay. So where are our wolves? Where are they? I know I have more than just one. Ah, okay, here we go. Haha. <laughs> and she's playing with the water. We have Charlotte. She's a female. She's an adult. Oh, 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 they're having a talk. We have Zeleen. And do we have a puppy here? Yeah, Daryl. All right, so check this out, guys. See that? We have our guests here. Oh, we caught it at the tail end. 
But yeah, basically, the guests will sit here and she just she talks about the wolves and this machine will throw food food into the wolves then and uh, it'll track them here and oh look at like we got a couple playing here we got the mechanic working on the barrier fixing it perfect perfect everything is going very well and we have like a, a three almost almost a full four star rating on this you guys i am just very pleased with that and i'm so happy how this came out i just so disappointed about the lag with this <clears throat> maybe i went a little overboard with building this but I, I really don't think so i really don't think so you know i mean what's the point in having the game on console if uh you know if you can't <laughs> make big builds like this uh so let's just go in here let's check out the staff words can't find yeah i know that dude vet surgery i know and right, let's do this and let's get our mechanic research done here the Europe theme also so guys it's very important for building to research all of these themes because you want to get as many of the different um, building components as you possibly can so we have these mechanics going strong here uh, on the habitats uh, I haven't got anything on these habitats yet uh, the India theme we have to research uh, and that's it that that's all we and then we'll just be waiting on the DLCs so guys, that's what we're going to wrap up this episode today. That's all we really did today. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, let me know in the comments if uh, if you like this. Or, you know, uh, let me know. I'll make a blueprint of it. I'll put it up in the shop, and you guys can plop this down in your own zoo. It really wasn't that difficult to make, as you can see. Oh, okay, we still like a little bit. So I actually have it set to where we don't play through the night. Um, someone commented on one of my videos, and I really appreciate it. He told me that if I have the zoo close like at dark and have it open up like uh, just during daylight then you never have to play the game in the dark where oh no okay you know what we need to do a vet surgery big time because that guy has an animal in that box that needs to get to a vet so yeah, we will work on that. But anyways, guys, we'll work on it next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.